First time chat. Donim Donning Parn. Donning Parn? Donim Parn. Hey Chicho, love listening to your take over the years. Happy to say this is my first time participating in the live stream. Welcome, welcome. Got a question for you. I want to bring up uh, tough topics with my friends, such as Armenian genocide or other things, uh, other things we didn't learn in school that I've learned about through your awareness raising. But I'm uh, unsure how to without it being a negative discussion. How do you talk about tough topics with your friends constructively? Um, first of all, some people can't handle tough topics. So you have to gauge the situation and you have to gauge the situation where you have to decide if you want to talk about tough topics and they don't, do you really want to be around them? Or you have to categorize those people maybe as fair weather friends, right? Fair weather friends are people you go to drinking with, party with, you go to a concert with fair weather friends sometimes, They're good friends as well. But fair weather friends are people that can only, uh, you can only interact with them on a very superficial level, right? Just about having fun, fair weather friends, right? Other people that have the mental capacity, emotional capacity, spiritual capacity to talk about heavy topics, if they don't understand a certain situation, you can always relate it to present, at present what's going on, right? So for example, when I talk to people about decentralization, right? Uh, centralized government, oh, Chicho, you're against all governments. You, you for years, you've been anti-government. I go, well, I'm anti-centralization. And they're like, oh, the government has been good to us and stuff like this. And then it's sort of, lay it in there and say well do you think it's okay for the government to get uh to prevent people getting medical advice from their own doctors and no one's pro that no one thinks that bureaucrats and a federal government centralized government should ever get in between a doctor and their patient right so you tell them that and then they say well no that's wrong and then you say okay that's how much power the centralized government has right now. So decentralization means that should be lessened, right? And then you introduce it slowly and you sort of try to. So for me, I try to relate it to something they can, they can digest, right? They can relate to in their own lives. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes people don't understand economics and politics. Economics is easier to deal with or dealing with politics through economics is easier to deal with. That's why I've initially focused a lot on economics and I have focused a lot on economics because economics rules politics. As I've said before, you can't really talk about economics and politics separately. It's like space, time and physics. You don't talk about space and then talk about time. They're one word, they're one thing, space, time. So economics and politics are one thing. So one way, one of the best ways to talk to people about sensitive topics is related to them from an economic perspective right really so if housing prices are too expensive why are housing prices are too expensive do you think it's okay for construction companies or people that are trying to build houses to have all these inspectors have out pay all these fees and all these taxes and all this stuff to government to raise the price of cost of a house because a lot of the price baked into the house is regulation right and regulation is it is it bad or is it good well it could be good it could be bad so you you sort of have to uh, dance uh sort of a walk a fine line with people to to get them to to see what's going on right or to see your perspective right and always be open to hear their side of it right so that's the way i deal with it uh in cases like julian assange and stuff like this it's very difficult uh for people because they've been propagandized to up the yin yang so one of the first things i do with people when i'm trying to talk to them about something is try to not directly but sort of get it out of them try to figure out where they're getting their information from. And um, I've known through our associates and friends, right? For multiple years, right? I, I 
you know, I ask people, where do you get your information? Some people proudly say Facebook. And I go, oof, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you regarding certain topics because you're propagandized too. You're censored up the yin yang, right? And in those situations, I'm pretty harsh um, with those people. I've had people tell me they get their news from TikTok. I, I go, you get your full news from TikTok. That's your fucking full perspective on what's going on in the world. Yes. God damn it. Right. So it's a fine line. But I would recommend going through the economics angle uh, with people when you want to talk to them about uh, sensitive topics. <clears throat>